Yo, what is up guys, Del Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV, hopefully you guys are doing well, if you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, Shakur Stevenson defeats Edwin De Los Santos by a unanimous decision to win the vacant WBC lightweight title. He won the fight officially, Shakur Stevenson, but for me, his, str his stock drops dramatically. Anybody who enjoyed this fight, anybody who makes excuses for Shakur's performance and makes out that he boxed a good fight, he was technically better, sweet science, bloody bloody blah, blah, anybody who enjoyed this, anybody who is championing this performance or accepting it, you need to get your testosterone checked. Because if you could even tolerate that, there is something seriously wrong with you. Get a black coffee, down it. Smoke a cigarette, pop a Viagra. Because, bro, you must be, you must have the testosterone of a fucking amoeba. Awful, awful, awful by Shakur Stevenson. I think sometimes in boxing we use the word running way too much. I think sometimes people apply it to fights where it's not really warranted. Shakur Stevenson ran in this fight, holding, scared to engage, pot shotting, fouling, ducking below the waist. Edwin De, uh, De Los Santos was the only guy who was trying to make this fight a fight. He was the only guy who was competing with um, with intent, you know, with ambition within the rules of boxing. That's not to say he looked great or anything like that, but. You know, to me, he was the only guy trying to compete within the rules. And it's all well and good saying, well, he should have cut the ring off better. He should have done this, that, and the third. That's all well and good. But when you're fighting a protected, privileged fighter like Shakur Stevenson, you, you're not only contending with this guy. You're, you're contending with this guy being allowed to not do anything, to run, to hold, to duck below the waist, to low blow. We've seen this in Shakur fights. It's easy to say, oh, he should just cut the ring off. But yeah, there's there's other aspects in which a guy like Edwin De Los Santos has to contend with. Um, when you're when when he's fighting a protected guy like Shakur Stevenson, I turned it off after four rounds. Um, very low output, very uninspiring. Uh, the shots that were landing came from De Los Santos. The, the the shots that were half decent were coming from De Los Santos. So. Um, whether he had a case to win this fight or not in the long run, I don't know because I turned it off after four rounds. I could just feel the testosterone leaving my body um, round after round. Dreadful. Um, I keep on hearing Shakur get, get labelled a pound-for-pound -pound level talent. Well, if that's a pound-for-pound -pound level fighter, then boxing's in a bad, bad way. Uh, because he never looked like a pound-for-pound -pound fighter to me. Um, from what I saw, and I saw um, highlights of a fight after as well, uh, showing a few of the later rounds, and yeah, awful, awful, I mean, that's not good for boxing, a guy like Shakur is not good for boxing, We sometimes people criticise Devin Haney, and I understand why, you know, people felt he lost the Lomachenko fight, etc, but Devin Haney moves a bit, but he's not a runner like Shakur, he can stand and fight, he can mix things up. He can throw combinations. He, he does put shots together. I don't think we should put Devin Haney in the same bracket as Shakur Stevenson. He does he does fight at times. He does go through the gears at times. And he, ha he has shown more ambition in his career than Shakur Stevenson. So I think we need to stop comparing these guys, personally. Regardless of what you felt about the Lomachenko fight, we, ne we need to stop putting these guys in the same bracket. Um... I'd much rather watch Devin Haney fight 10 times than watching Shakur fight once. Uh, there was a time when I felt Shakur was finally starting to go through the gears, when he fought Jamel Herring and even Oscar Valdez. In those fights, he was actually letting go of combinations and, you know, trying to sit down on some punches. I understand that Shakur is going to be a mover. I'm not expecting him to turn into Arturo Gatti, but... Listen, at times, come on, man, throw some combos, sit down on some punches. You've got the, you've got the ability, ability to do it, as we saw in those fights. But 
Again, here we are. Awful performance by Shakur. Again, there's going to be a lot of cope. Oh, you're hating on Shakur. I mean, if you liked that, again, go to the doctors. Get your tea checked. Um, maybe you're a eunuch. Maybe you have no balls. I don't know. But, yeah, that's, that's the only right takeaway from this fight. A guy like Shakur is not good for boxing when he's putting on performances like that. And, God, listen... Thank God this fight was on a fucking midweek card because this guy shouldn't be taking up Saturday night slots. Awful. Awful to watch. Awful. Um, what else can I say? What else can I say? Terrible fight. Terrible, terrible, terrible fight. What's next? What's next for Shakur Stevenson? I don't really care to tell you the truth. I don't really care. Anyway, <clears throat> share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Del Boy. Peace.